Did you get all that? So they just basically spit in the face of the YouTube community and said, pretty much said that fair use means absolutely nothing to them. If you look at the actual fair use clause and what they have on this little thing that you just saw a minute ago, it's completely different. But like I said, YouTube don't care. They just see it as spam. Most of the time, they just try to act like YouTube poops aren't even there. They don't even exist. There's remixes and mashups, but there's no such thing as YouTube poops. They kind of shove it in a little bitty corner because there's so much of it around that they can't do anything about it. They want to try their damnedest to keep their profitable part of YouTube away from the, the kids that actually have something fun and entertaining to bring to the Internet. I tell you, if Google could make money off of YouTube poops, this would be a different story. Of course, they can't because of the whole copyright shit anyway. I don't know. Some Somebody who's not an evil company needs to buy YouTube. It'd probably be cool if Gabe Newell bought YouTube. Because the thing is, um, anybody you're subscribed to, the videos that they put out will be automatically downloaded to your hard drive. But then again, to watch them every month, you have to download the brand new six gigabyte flash player. If someone copies your work after you posted it, you have the right to take it down. So guy sees a mashup of himself, gets butt hurt, and starts taking a whole bunch of them down. Didn't someone write a song about that? YouTube provides tools for rights holders to control the use of their content. DMCA is the most flawed shit on the internet. If someone takes down your video by mistake, or as a result of a misidentification of the material to be removed, there's a counter notification process for that. You can send YouTube a notice that there was an error. YouTube is an error. If you misuse the process, you could end up in court. And then you would get in a lot of trouble. So if you file a counterclaim for somebody DMCAing your video, you could go to court over it. But if somebody DMCAs your video falsely, they don't get in trouble? You see what I'm getting at? This shit is so damn flawed. That was, that was the exact crap that caused the YouTube poop depression of 2010. That's how the law works. Well, if that's the law, fuck the police. That's more like it. By singing an original song, you're creating your own content. When you make an original video, you're the owner of your own copyright. And you have the right to post it to YouTube. Original video, do not steal. Original content is what makes YouTube interesting. Are you kidding me? Start creating your own, and who knows? Your video could explode. That's exactly what I need to do. Make some unoriginal video of me saying or doing some really dumb crap. And then get a YouTube partnership and become another one of the mindless drones that scour the internet and make YouTube money. Well, finally, that's it. That's the whole video, kiddos. I know it was a long one. I'm sure it felt like it. And now the most important news of the day. No, not YCP coming back up, though that's wonderful. Though I bet a lot of you are hissing and booing. <laughs> the really big news of the day is coming from the I Am Goomba staff. Yes, they have done it again. I Am Goomba himself, Hoskins, and many other members of the Goomba Pro Team are taking part in one of the biggest undertakings in YouTube poop history. They are archiving and backing up entire channels of YouTube poops and poop-related video. This is to fully ensure that if an account gets suspended, loses a video, or has a video taken down, that all of their videos will be available from I Am Goomba to be backed up. No, they won't be on the uh, channel. They will be on this humongous server that Hoskins has got that holds countless gigs of space well you know what I mean and all of this is for the purpose of archiving backing up and keeping alive every YouTube poop in existence that was ever worth a shit no they would not backing up Ash's retarded adventure and toys gone wild and crap like that I said videos that were worth a shit and this is not something you have to sign up for or get permission for they may have already done it to your videos now. That's right, your videos on the server in a special folder with your name on it and with all your videos in there. They have already finished backing up many YouTube poopers videos completely 
a stuff, even stuff like MST Radock, Daniel Radcliffe 777, damn near every YTP and V are known to man, and my new shows. So that ought to give you an idea how serious they are. Radock's got millions of videos, those and fillers and crap, and you know how long my shows are. So what can you do to help? Well, if you have a YouTube poop or a video by a pooper that they have not uploaded or has been lost, taken down, DMCA'd, what have you, or if you have poops by poopers who were suspended, give it to the I Am Goomba Pro Team. The way to do it is to go to YouTube channel I Am Goomba or go to Skype Hoskins. You can also talk to the president of I Am Goomba, T Goomba. On Skype, T E H G E W B A H, or Vice President of the I Am Goomba Pro Team Server Staff, Brandon Exploit 1080. Because if you give it to me, I'm not even gonna look at it. You know I don't look at the videos y'all send me. So yeah, hit the Goomba team up. If you've got a poop that needs to be archived, now they're not gonna accept something like Gay Luigi gets spaghetti in his laugh or something shit like that. But I don't already told you what they're looking for, so you know. And finally, the last bit of news I have for everybody today, Daydreamer87 is back. Whoa, whoa, hey, hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. Easy, don't start wetting your britches yet. There's no live camera footage of him, but you can tell by the voice and the obvious things that he says and shows off on his channel that it is Daydreamer87. He's not going by Daydreamer anymore either. He's made a completely new name and identity for himself, and he's even tried to mask his voice. His new name is... Is, uh, uh, I'm not gonna try that. He's then turned extremely camera shy now. He hasn't turned a webcam back on ever since he got trounced by the poop community and said a word about it either. He's pitch shifted his voice in Vegas to make it sound like two cents under what it really is. But if you pop it right back up, it's Daydreamer more than anything. But I believe he finally got a new microphone! Or learned how to turn it down, one of the two. So where's the solid proof he's Daydreamer? Well, check this out. He's got an alt account that's called Blame the First. And if you notice at the end of that rant video he made, his blog spot is called the exact same thing. So if listening to his voice isn't proof enough for you, there you go. And that's everything that happened today. Ah, well, that's it, children. That's it. That's all she wrote for a while. Well, there is one more little thing. I might be selling out the news show to YCP. No, it's not going to be ch permanently changed to you chew poop news or anything like that. But, um, we'll see if it happens. In before unsubs. See you later!